How's it going, everyone? I hope you're having a shit one. Wait. That's not my intro. Wait. Fuck. Sorry. I'll retry that again. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to this video. I didn't really know how to start that intro off. I, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, so, I was just letting you guys know that I was arriving back home from school today. And I noticed a bird when I was sitting with my mate having a conversation. And this bird flew by. And I was like, well, that's a really interesting bird. And so, I was like, um, okay, I'll go get my camera. And then it flew away. And I was like, like, I was so furious because I really wanted to get a photo of it. But I couldn't because I'd flown away. But then I realized it flew into my backyard and onto the, um, onto the tree in my backyard. And then I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, this is my opportunity. So I ran quickly inside, got my camera and went back outside. And luckily it was still there. So I got a load of photos of it. I think it was like a hundred, I think, or even more. And um, I put them into Lightroom on my laptop and I've selected a few that I personally like myself and that are in focus. And so I'm just going to put a cheeky edit on them. And then I wanted to invite you guys along the way of how I edit my photos. Because I edit them um, to my expectations or like how I personally like them. And also um, to make it look natural. And with some photos I just edit them to make them look completely ridiculous. Um, I'll show you one right now that I just was so bored and then I just made it look so ridiculous. Like, look at this. Look at the sand, okay? Look at the sky. It looks like it's about to storm and it doesn't look natural at all. I was just so bored and tired and I just couldn't be asked to edit it properly, so, you know. Hey, how's it going? Sorry guys, you might not want to listen to this. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just had a quick duo with uh, Hamble with my dad and my sister, and that was pretty fun. Um, and I just had dinner, so. Um, anyway, so now that we're back, um, I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my photos. So, the image um, I took, it was, it was pretty good. Um, in my opinion, obviously. Um, so it's of this bird right here that you see on my screen. And it looks pretty good, in my opinion. But I feel like we can just edit it a bit, um, just a bit better, in my opinion. Because the, um, because the background does look a bit, um, vibrant. And I just want to, you know, um, modify a few things. So I'd say the, probably just increase the exposure just a tiny bit. Um, the contrast is... Is pretty good I'd say so we'll probably just keep that at zero uh, just increase it a bit I'd say by like three um, the highlights um, we'll probably just bump that up to about 15 um, and the shadows um, the shadows will probably increase that by 60 because we just want to see the um, we want to see the birds face and also the background too because the shadows was covering the um, the bird's face, so I just want the um, the birds the bird to be more visible to the to the person who sees the photo. Um, the whites don't really need to do that much, but just increase that just a small bit. Um, yeah, just a tiny bit. There we go. Um, and the blacks probably just. About the same as 17. It's looking pretty good. Um, oh, the color. Now, the color is my favorite part because you can just modify the colors that, um, that are on here. And so we'll start off with red because I think red is going to be a big one. Yeah, because this, uh, this flower at the bottom. So we're probably going to decrease the luminance just a tiny bit by 8. Should we change the color? A bit more pinkish now. We'll keep it. We'll keep it as there. No, the saturation will just increase a tiny bit. I don't want to oversaturate it. Um, so we'll go with about nine. That looks good. Then we'll move on to orange. 
I think we'll just keep the orange sand, there's nothing really to do. Now the yellow, oh my god, you can make it look green. That looks cool. <laughs> Not really, it kind of looks really weird. Uh, we'll just keep it as, we'll just give it as yellow. Reset that bitch. Um, so we'll probably just increase the vibrancy just a tiny bit. Um, and I do notice like a bit of orange marks there, so we'll probably get rid of those. Um, Increase the luminance a tiny bit, and then we'll go to the orange, and we'll just bring those suckers. There's a couple like the orange. Oh, that's pretty good. Probably do that, you know. Probably just give it a bit of a orange look. Oh, is that you? Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, the green, I'd say, give it a bit more of a of a green color probably increase the increase the saturation a bit uh, luminance will probably increase that too and then we have the blue which don't want to increase the saturation too much but just want to get a bit more of a bluish color then we'll just increase the luminance the saturation, not really. Just increase the saturation of the darker blue, just to give it a bit more vibrancy in the photograph. I'll just move that. Um, then with the luminance, we don't want to make it a bit too blue, but just um, just a bit blue like this. There we go. That's pretty good. Um, and the tone curve, we can probably just liven up the scene a bit. Use the vibrancy just a tiny bit. And the saturation can get bumped up too. Awesome. Now the effects here, what we're going to do is we're going to select a subject uh, first. So we'll go over here, select subject. That usually does take a minute or two, so don't want to have you guys sitting here watching me do this shit, so. Okay, so it's done. Oh, jeez, that took a while. Um, so, okay, so now that we have the subject here, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to increase the, we're going to increase the texture, I'd say, just by 10, because we don't want to overdo it. Um, I'd say 10 is good enough just to add a bit of detail I'd say probably 15 16 should be good yeah um the clarity oh, I didn't actually click on it because I'm stupid um so increase by 16 um the clarity can be yeah I guess decrease you don't want to increase it because look at that that looks stupid um I'll probably do it by 7 uh, dehaze, don't really need to, I'd say. Oh. It's about, about six. I'd say that's good. Um, then what we'll do is we'll duplicate the mask. Um, and we'll invert it. So that it's only selecting the background. And what we'll do is we will we'll get rid of this. Set. Um, and we'll... And we will, I want to make it so that the overall subject is the bird itself. So I'm just going to get rid of the texture by doing, um, not 30, negative 30. Um, then what we'll do is we will do the clarity by about 25. And dehaze, don't really need a dehazer by that much, but... Just a tiny bit. It's about four. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that actually looks really cool. But, see, like a photo like that, in my opinion, is really good. And then what I do is I usually, if I have like the same photo, I usually just copy those presets. So I usually just copy my edit over and just paste it on the other ones. 
So I'll just do control C, which is a shortcut for copy. Then I just control V and I just paste it. But obviously a thing that doesn't occur is that um, the masks that you've done on the image, um, they don't actually copy them over because they're a separate thing that you need to copy over. So you would just need to, um, so I think, I don't think you can select both of them, can you? No, so you need to like copy and paste them over one by one over to the next image and then it will do it in itself and then you'll need to do the um, settings over again, which is kind of a pain in the ass, but you just do it. Like if you want the image to be um, up to your expectations and that's what you need to do. But I do that because obviously I want my images to look good. And like an image like this, like I mean, it looks pretty good to me. It looks pretty good. There are a few things that I could edit over there, but I think it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> those were my those were my two photos that I picked for uh, today's edit, and I think it went pretty well. Like the two, I'll put the two photos on the on the video and on the screen now. These two photos look really good, like really good. In my opinion, obviously. <laughs> I like how it's like focused on the bird itself and like the background is really blurry and I also really liked how I made it look like a bokeh effect in the background, which I really like. I know there is probably a few more tweaks I could have done, but if you guys suggest any more tweaks that I could have done to these two photos, you just let me know in the comments below. Um. And thank you guys for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit longer than usual, but if you guys would like more videos like this, just let me know down in the comments below and I'll be sure to do them. Or I'll even do a live stream of me photo editing some videos that I, uh, not videos, some photos that I take. I don't know. You guys let me know. And yeah. Anyway, um,. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys.